My name is Eric Kilburn. I own a company in Acton called Wellspring Sound, which is a recording and live sound and video recording company. We've been in Acton for 24 years, and I've been in business for 38. Um, I built this building in the year 2000, and for 23 and a half years had a fossil fuel heating and cooling system um, that was a rooftop unit on the ground. It died in November of 2023, and I looked around at the options and decided that an air source heat pump made the most sense for on all kinds of levels. So I did a bunch of research, got uh, some estimates, went with a system installed by the Shaves HVAC company in Hudson, and they put it in in late December, and it's been working great for the last three months, and I couldn't be happier. Um, I also had the uh, ACOM, which is a, a company set up by the utilities, I think I've got that right, who provide assistance to businesses and homeowners on uh, doing other green energy uh, improvements in their building. And I had 15 inches of insulation blown into my ceiling joists up above me that will make a huge difference in my electric bills for the next, uh, for, the, for the rest of the life of the building. So I'm really excited about that. This is the control room of Wellspring Studio A that you're, you're seeing here, and it has all kinds of modern and vintage equipment that is designed to make people recording here sound great. And um, it's been in a constant state of, you know, improvement over the last 24 years. I started out with a, a, a seven foot long, uh, three foot wide analog console that I recently sold and put in a, a, an entirely new Pro Tools based system that doesn't use a big console. But uh, it's, it's a comfortable place and we've been going, going great for the last 24 years. I started in my, ba in my attic in an apartment in Newton with a, a mixing board that was four feet from my bed. It's changed a little bit since then. Anyway, it's, I want to welcome your audience to this aspect of, uh, of uh, the arts in Acton. I do a lot of recording with local people and people come from as far away as New York to record here because of, we have a really nice sounding room. Why don't we, I take you to that room now. So, it's sometimes neater than this, but this is kind of par for the course. We have, you know, this room, as you can hear, has a resonance to it, and that is what makes drums sound great in here. When you, when you go like that, I hope I didn't distort your cameras there, you can hear that there's a sound that when you, you're playing drums, it makes the drums sound like, like drums should sound. And there's, uh, there's about 35 guitar amplifiers over there to my left, and along the back wall there's approximately 50 guitars and basses and mandolins that um, all get used from time to time. And um, we have 170 microphones or something crazy like that, and uh, a bunch of keyboards, two grand pianos, one sort of darker and older and one newer and brighter. Um, and we do a lot of video here as well. You can see some lights and camera and camera uh, tripods and things around the room. Well, shall we go out onto the and see the new air source heat pump? <laughs> There's two of them actually. There's one that's about five years old, six, uh, six years old. So, yeah, we'll just we'll walk we'll walk by the old uh, an old dead HVAC unit. So this is a unit that got installed in 2018 when this unit was starting to wither. And it also just, I just knew I would save money because the air source heat pump has less demand when it goes on than one of these things. So when, in the summertime, when your air conditioning boots up, especially on a big building like this, you get what's called a demand charge from the utilities and they charge you like something like it's, it's, it's like 70 cents a kilowatt hour, maybe more. Actually, I think it's more than that. It's, it's some crazy amount, way more than regular because they're needing to ramp up all of their equipment to meet your needs. So the air source heat pump completely eliminated all my demand charges for in the summertime for HVAC. 
So that, that saved me a ton of money just right away. And besides the fact that it was cheaper to run on a day-to-day -day basis for the, for the air conditioning and heat. So this is, and this is the old, the old one that no longer, no longer works. Um, it's a rooftop unit that was on the ground. There was another one out in front of the building, which has now been replaced by, follow me, So this is a new Bosch air source heat pump with a custom made prevent ice from falling off the roof and damaging the air source heat pump. <laughs> a little frame that I built with chicken wire and it's, you know, it's a functional but not beautiful uh, <laughs> adaptation. But it keeps chunks of ice from falling off the roof and destroying the fan of the, of the unit. But this is a unit that provides, um, this unit heats and cools. Um, roughly 3,000 square feet, and if you count the cubic feet, it's probably closer to it's probably around 35 to 40,000 cubic feet. So this one unit does the lion's share of the heating and cooling in my building, and it's controlled either remotely. I can I can activate it on my phone if I need to, and I can run it through the thermostat in the building. So it, it's it's super convenient for me if I if I. If I'm away from the office and, and, or the building and, I, and I'm worried about the building's heat, I can monitor it from anywhere in the country. So that's, that's great. It doesn't use any gas, just all electricity. And it has a backup system uh, for when it gets to be zero degrees, which in these days almost never happens anymore. But basically, um, when it gets below 15 degrees, an, op an, an option kicks in where it can, can if the air source heat pump is struggling. And so far it hasn't been an issue. Um, but we, again, we haven't had any super cold days since it was built. So that is one of the weird aspects of global warming is that you no longer have these days where, you, where you're gonna need uh, all that supplemental heating and, and wish that you had something different. So I'm, so far, so good. Um, let's see. So that so this unit takes uh, sends uh, it it produces warm air and it goes up through this what's known in the trade as a doghouse. It's a kind of an odd doghouse if you th have a dog, but it goes up into this building and uh, it gets distributed through about 15, 16 ducts that output inside the building. Each duct has a muffler that I built myself that's sort of four foot by one foot by one foot that's a, that sort of slows down the air. It has like a labyrinth inside so the air goes through a, a little mini maze and it slows down the velocity of the air so you don't hear any wind noise in the room. So you can run this thing full tilt and the room is dead quiet. So that's something I built into the ceiling when I built the building in 2000. But that's, that's how I keep my building warm in the winter and cool in the summer and it's you know it's worked out great and I can't wait till this summer when my H when my air conditioning bills are going to be really really small because of all the insulation in the ceiling so I want to express appreciation to a local Acton consortium called the Acton Business Energy Efficiency Grant which paid for a substantial portion of the work that was done on the insulation of the building and also, the, it's a consortium from the utilities called ACOM, which subsidized the purchase of, of the air source heat pump. So all in all, um, I would say close to about 70% of my, over, between 60 and 70% of the overall costs of doing all these renovations didn't come out of my pocket, which is huge for me as a small business guy. Uh, and much appreciated and also just a, a real testament to the business community and the, the uh, federal government for supporting a transition toward green energy in our country. Okay, we're putting on the, <laughs> the Acton Power Choice green sticker, which means I don't burn any fossil fuels keeping the building cool or warm. Hello, um, I'm Andrea, I'm the Sustainability Director for the Town of Acton. And I'm Lauren West, I'm the Environmental Analyst for the Town of Acton. And we're here at Wellspring Sound Studio um, to promote the Acton Power Choice Green Business Program. Um, this is the first time we launched this program 
Um, and we're really excited that Wellspring Sound Studio is the first business to showcase the program with a decal, demonstrating their commitment to 100% renewable energy by uh, opting up to the Act Empower Choice Green program. Um, if you're a business in town and you'd also like to power your business with 100% renewable energy, you can uh, reach out to the sustainability office at sustainability at actonma.gov or call us at 978-929-6515 or go straight to the actonpowerchoice.com website and click opt up to opt up your business to 100% renewable energy. Businesses like Wellspring Sound in Acton and residents in Acton are able to join APC Green to get their 100% of their electricity needs from local renewable energy sources. We have a goal of 750 accounts on APC Green by the end of 2024. Opt up today and help us reach our goal.